Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you a very beautiful chess game. This is the game between Judith Polgar and Ferenc Berkes that was played in Budapest in 2003. In this game, Judith had white pieces and she started with e4. Berkes played e6, d4, d5, and we have French defense. Knight to c3, knight to f6, bishop to g5, pinning knight, threatening e5. Pawn takes pawn, knight takes on e4, bishop to e7, unpinning, and now bishop takes knight, bishop takes bishop. White gave up a bishop in order to reduce defenders of the black king. Knight to f3, black castled kingside, queen to d2, preparing to castle queenside, knight to d7, and white castled queenside, black played bishop to e7. b6 is a more popular move, but bishop to e7 was played. At the cost of a tempo, black preserves a bishop pair. Bishop to d3, b6, knight from e to g5, white goes for the throat. h6, attacking knight. You would think that knight must go back now, but no. Bishop to h7 check, king to h8, bishop to e4, attacking rook. And Black decided to capture knight. If rook to b8, then h4 would be played and then black is advised not to capture knight. Because if pawn takes knight, pawn takes pawn and white would be winning. Okay, so we have in this position pawn takes knight before h4 was played. It is white to move. How would you continue in this position if you had white pieces? If you wish, you can pause this video and you can try to find the best move for white. Ready? I think that the first move that comes to mind is to take that rook on a8. But this is not what Judith played. She played g4. h4 is next. Rook to b8. Black thought, thank you for not taking my rook. And now h4, that is pawn takes pawn. g6, pawn takes pawn, discovered check. King to g7, queen to f4, and black played bishop to b7. Even stronger move doesn't work, that is rook to h8. Then we would have this continuation, rook takes rook, queen takes rook, knight to e5, that is queen takes pawn, on f7, another threat is knight to c6. Black would continue with bishop takes on g5, queen takes bishop, queen to h6, queens would be exchanged, knight takes on f7, white is better, but black would last longer. This is the position. It is white to move and to play a killer move. If you wish, you can pause this video and you can try to find the killer move that white played in this position. Ready? Rook to h7, check. King takes rook. Now, check. King to g8, rook to h1, threat is Queen to h7 or queen to h8, checkmate. Bishop takes pawn on g5, check. 
Knight takes bishop. Queen takes knight. Check. F4. And black decided to depart with the queen. Queen was sacrificed to save the king. But after bishop takes bishop and queen takes bishop, black resigned. You can argue that black could have continued. But he had enough torture for a day and he resigned. What do you think of Judith's style? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.